it's an honour to have been in this role since 2015, but yeah, it's, it's very much mixed at the moment. Um, obviously, I've got a job to do, so I have to put like my own emotions aside if I can, which is sometimes quite difficult, but I think my emotions are probably going to sort of hit, hit its peak, I think, on Sunday when I march off the Cenotaph for the very last time. Without doubt, remembrance is the one for me. That is the the bit where I feel honoured and privileged to be a part of remembrance, and that's what it's all about. Um, and I would also say, absolutely having the honour and the privilege to sort of conduct my final duty to Her Majesty the Queen, I think it's nothing surpasses that. Um, she was just such such a role model to all of us in the armed forces, especially with us being the senior service. And I think it's it's something that I'll never forget. Sometimes you, you don't really sit and take stock of what what it is you've achieved. Uh, and, and us as a section, you know, it's not just about me, it's about the team that's around me. It's about the people from the Royal Navy that have done all those events. So it's a real collaboration. And then you couple that with the other two services, with the Royal Air Force and the British Army. And it's, it's such a good collaboration. It's just perfect to be a part of. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.